What's going on, everybody? I'm getting ready to carve the last few stones on the tower here on the side of the Castle Grayskull, and I thought I'd film how I'm doing it. I drew out all my rocks with a Sharpie. And the next thing I'm gonna use is, I call it my wire toothbrush. I'm gonna go through and I'm just gonna follow the lines that I drew. And I usually go about the depth of the bristles. I don't have to be super particular. Just like that. Now one thing I'll do sometimes is I'll use this little hand keyhole saw or drywall saw and I'll cut the line just to kind of help the, the wire brush. You don't have to do this, but sometimes I'll do it just to make it a little easier. Make sure you follow the right line. I've got so many lines, I don't know where, what's going on anymore. I've done this so many different ways. Sometimes I've done it with a router or hot wire. Or... Got to take a screw out there. I used some screws to hold the foam in when I first glued it on. All right, so then the next thing that I'll do is I can take a file that I have, like a, one of these rifflers. Again, you can do anything, but this just goes back through and kind of helps round over like a rock would not have a, probably have a sharp point like that. Now I'm going to take some of these corners down and make it look like a stone that's in there. Now that you got the shape basically wire brushed out, you want to go through and make the, the grout line around it a little more defined. You can always go through like this. And I use a couple different grit sandpapers. I think this one's like a hundred. It's pretty like an 80 or 120 or something like that. And I'll go through. Even a finer sandpaper. Now the big thing is like this looks a little too perfect. So then what you'll want to do is go back through and take your wire brush. And Give it a little dent here, maybe one over here, and take your finer sandpaper. So there, the first one's pretty much done. That's about as good as you need to get. If you want to fill these little pits in, then I usually use some drywall mud, let it dry, and then go back and sand it, and you can pretty much make that thing perfect looking. But uh, I'll go ahead and do another stone um, next to it just so you can kind of get an idea of what some of the other stones look like next to it. So now that I got a couple of those to where they're looking pretty good, you just continue and keep going. And then pretty soon, let me walk over here, you'll have a whole wall like this. Another couple tools that I like to use, especially in areas where I've got to take down and level some places like the bottom where I'm doing some rocks here, is I just use one of these curry combs. They're like uh, for combing horses and dogs. They're great for leveling off areas really flat. And you can remove some of the rings so you don't have to use all of them. But it's, because again, if I just want to give this thing like a slight angle, it's just easy and takes away quite a bit of material. The other thing I like using is like a big wire brush, like for cleaning a grill or something. It doesn't take off as much material, but you do have quite a bit of control. This is definitely a go-to of mine, for sure. Again, this makes quite a mess, so what I do is every 10 or 15 minutes or so, I'll sweep up what's on the ground, shovel it into garbage bags, that way I can control the amount of spread that the foam goes. 
We do get asked quite a bit where we get our large foam. There are a couple stores locally that we can get it from. We also do find quite a bit of freebies on Craigslist and that kind of thing. But regardless, what we always do is have to glue several pieces together using expanding foam and, um, and then just some shish kebab sticks. You can see how this just isn't one big block of foam. I've got several different pieces glued to the wall and I just use expanding foam and uh, carve them all down. It's a little more work and then you have a bunch of seams that you gotta go back and fill. Now to do that, what I do is I go through and fill in what I can with my expanding foam. These guns are really handy by the way. They're like 50 bucks, but they're worth every penny. They're nice because the, the disposable cans tend to get clogged up, but these, you can just shut them off and they're ready to go and reuse them again. But anyway, like I said, I just go through and I'll fill in all the seams the best I can with this. Like if there's any cracks, like up here and stuff. I mean, you only wanna do it when you're done carving. So otherwise you're gonna be chipping away stuff. Then once all my great stuff is cured, I'll use some drywall mud right here. I got some in a little Homer bucket here. And uh, I'll just go through and apply some on my seams. Now all these pits and stuff, I can try to sand that a little better. Like this obviously can improve. But if you wanted to, you could sit there and go through and coat everything and get it all perfectly nice depending on what kind of hard coating you're doing. Um, but yeah, I'll just sit here and put that all on there and then let that dry, give it a light sand and it really hides that seam. So see, you can apply it in the fill it all in. Again, this isn't sanded very well, so this is kind of a horrible example, but once that dries, you can go back through and sand it all smooth and works pretty good. Sometimes the great stuff will expand out above and I just, you know, pick a little bit of that out so that I can get enough mud in there to, to have it level. Then once you got all your rocks all carved, just go through and give it all a light sand, fill all your seams with some drywall mud, and you're ready for hard coat. So there you go, there is some of the tools and the way I fill the seams and glue the foam together for projects like this Masters of the Universe Grayskull build that we're working on. If you're new to this channel, be sure to visit. We've got lots of other fun videos and uh, make sure you click like and subscribe and smash and all the things that everyone asks you to do in every single video. That way, it'll be easy for me to talk my wife into letting me continue to make awesome things like this. <laughs> all right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.